Well, for today, I've been listening on the summit between China and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, which has just finished. President Xi Jinping said that China and the states of Gulf Cooperation Council are natural partners for cooperation. Now, on the other hand, Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman praised the achievements of the cooperation between GCC countries and China and said that this summit marks a new chapter in the relationship between the two sides. After this summit is wrapped up, the China Arab State Summit is taking place as we speak. Now, let me break down some of the joint statement uh, key points between China and Saudi Arabia after the bilateral summit. It says that uh, through formal dialogues, the two countries strengthened their comprehensive strategic partnership, shared thoughts on international and regional issues that are of common interest. Now, both sides have been satisfied with the results of cooperation in the past three decades, and President Xi and King Salman bin Abdulaziz signed a comprehensive strategic partnership agreement. The two countries vow to prioritize each other in their foreign policies and stand by each other's core interests. The statement said the two countries will explore more opportunities in oil as well as new energy and promise to work closer on the issue of climate change. Cooperation in a range of sectors from automobile, logistics, mining to finance will be explored under the frameworks of China's Belt and Road Initiative and Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030. The leaders also shared their thoughts on a series of hot international issues such as the two-state solution to the Palestinian issue and calling for a peaceful resolution to the conflict in Ukraine. Jufo? So many issues have been discussed. What's the significance of the China-Arab state summit for the regional and global economy, especially under the current economic background? Let me share with you some thoughts. I've been following the bilateral talks between President Xi and Arab leaders since yesterday, and I've been seeing some very consistent themes in each of them. China and its Arab partners reaffirmed each other's core national interests and have been able to find common ground. Now, these common interests include the upholding of sovereignty, security and stability, and the right of self-determination. China sees them as important principles to safeguard the region's long-term peace and prosperity. Another important recurring talking point is that China puts a priority in resolving international issues under multilateral frameworks like the UN and G20, as all sides advocate for true multilateralism in the global order. Now, apart from politics, leaders have been able to push forward co cooperations under the Belt and Road Initiative, where China can use its know-how to fulfill Arab countries' huge infrastructure needs. On the other hand, China also stressed on comprehensively upping collaborations in other areas like medical, trade and cultural exchanges. So from all these discussions, we can piece together the mode of cooperation between China and the Arab world in the future. President Xi Jinping pointed out that regional and international environments are undergoing profound and complex changes and that China will strive to build uh, with the Arab world a community with a shared future in the new era.